hey guys welcome back I know it's been a while um but I have for the past well first I got kind of in a funk with recording and I couldn't really come up with anything to record and I just kind of didn't want to record and then um I ended up moving in with my fiance and we have just spent the last couple months getting everything ready and moving in and we're finally moved in and I've got my new bookshelves um and I love them they're beautiful but that's why but I thought I would jump back in and soon I will make a video like a kind of life update and maybe show you guys like a little bit more of the apartment maybe like my the rest of my bookcases because I've got like four of them here but yes so what better way to jump back in than doing a readathon for one of my favorite booktubers Holly Neese I love her um or right, I don't know if that's her actual name her last name but Holly Hearts Books is what she's called here on YouTube. And she's hosting her own readathon called Medievalathon. <clears throat> and I will kind of go over it a little bit here, but I will definitely be linking her video down below so you can go check it out. So, Medievalathon is just kind of gives you a chance to raise your nobility. And I will try and insert pictures here if I can. I should be able to. But yes, so. I got my little cheat sheet notebook here that I'm going to kind of be reading it off to you for. So the ba the basis of it is to read one through six books to raise your nobility. So if you read one book during the month of July, you are a peasant. Two books, a squire. Three books, a knight. Four books, a count or countess. Five books, prince or princess. Six books, king or queen. And because being a queen has always been, you know, one of my goals in life. I'm going to try and read six books this month. Let's hope I can do it. You can also build your own armor set. So if to get your armor for a crown, you read a book where a character fights for the throne, a helmet, a book with a dragon on the cover, <coughs> excuse me, a breastplate or shiny book, knee pads, read a thick paperback for the boots, a book that is yellowed over time, a cape, red with or a book with red on the dust jacket okay and then you can choose your own weapons this is she just went into so much detail with it and i love it so for a sword you read a book with something pointy on the cover daggers a book with assassins bow and arrow a book with elves and axe a book with mercenaries so she's done pictures for each one of those and i will insert them here so you can get a better view of them but that's basically the gist of it and it's really cool like I said check out her video she explains it so much better but I will be giving you my TBR for now I'm so excited for this like she announced it like two weeks ago and I was waiting and waiting and waiting for July to creep up so I could start reading because I'm so excited so like I said I'm going for nobility um, queen so that's six books so, to start out with, I want to get me a crown. So, I'm going to be reading Throne of Glass. I had asked Holly, and she said this works for fighting for the crown, because it's just, it, they don't even necessarily have to go fight for the crown. And I kind of, from what I heard, I don't want to give any spoilers like I got, but I'll be reading Throne of Glass to get me my crown. Um, for my breastplate, a shiny book, I will be reading Ironside. It is very shiny. And then for my knee pads, which is a thick paperback, I am reading Strange the Dreamer. This one might, <clears throat> excuse me, might be the only one that changes because I have, I might switch to doing like some Ellen Hopkins because those are thick paperbacks. But I definitely want to try and get these. All of the books on this um, TBR are not books that I've read before. So they are on my TBR list. So I want to get through them. But yes. So Knee Pads is Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. Um, for Boots, I went with The Darkest Part of the Forest. Boots were... I don't remember. A book that has yellowed over time. And I don't know if you can tell, but... Especially when I bring, let's see, 
I guess, Throne of Glass. You can tell it's yellowed. So, yes, I will be reading this for a book that has yellowed over time. Um, and then for my cape, I will be reading Heartless by Marissa Meyer, and I'm so excited to finally be reading this. Have you guys seen this book without its dust jacket? Oh my goodness, it is beautiful. I love it, and I'm so excited to start reading it. So yes, this will be for Red on the Dust Jacket to get me my cape. And then for my weapons, I have chosen Daggers. So I will be reading Throne of Glass for that, as Daggers is a book with assassins, and that is what Selena is. And then for Bow and Arrow, I will be reading The Cruel Prince, um, because that is a book with elves, and it was asked, how they was asked, you know, since they live in Elfham, or Elfham, I don't know how to say it, please don't come at me, but I need to read this, and this kind of gave me the perfect excuse. She's like, you know, technically, so I'm going to take that technically, and I'm going to run with it. So yes, this will get me my Bow and Arrow. And then Throne of Glass will also get me my sword. So Throne of Glass is working for three of the prompts. <laughs> so I am really excited for this readathon. This, like I said, I love Holly and I love her channel. And it's just been so much fun, like following along. She's got a Twitter for it too. Um, but yeah, so that is my TBR for Medievalathon. I'm really excited to read all of these books because like I said, they're all on my TBR. This one I've started, but I've never finished. I've never read any of these books and I'm really excited to be reading some of them, most of them, all of them, hopefully, so I can become the queen. <laughs> but yes, guys, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed my video. Um, I'm going to try and put out one video a week at least because I miss making videos for you guys and I miss talking about books and it's just so much I just missed it a lot and I don't know if you guys miss me but so yeah I will see you guys in the next video thank you for watching make sure you go check out Holly's TV or Holly's video announcement for this which like I said I will leave in the links down below and until then guys I'll see you next time Bye.